Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Victus uh, laptop. This one is a Victus 16-D0507 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can increase the storage and what are the combination of the storage that you can have in here and the limits. We do this often for our clients and in this video I'm just gonna do a demonstration of how you can open it up and how you can do it. Now they do get shipped with a 500 gig or one terabyte or 256 gig SSD and VME. And people have called HP and they're like, oh no, you can go max 500 gig or one terabyte. You can add another one. Don't listen to those people. They don't actually give you, they're not informed enough to tell you. And we have upgraded the main SSD to two terabyte SSD NVMe, and we have added an additional two terabyte NVMe in total of four terabyte with no issue whatsoever. Just remember, when you add an extra storage, you're not gonna modify anything in the system, everything's gonna go fine, you're just gonna see another partition with an extra storage. But if you wanna replace your main storage with a higher capacity, then you have to reinstall your Windows freshly installed. I made a really short video how to create a Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive, and another video how to install on an HP laptop. It's really easy, it takes five to 10 minutes to install and you're ready to go. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade. All right, first thing first, back up your files and you're gonna grab a workshop towel, you're gonna put it on the bottom so I don't scratch it. You're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna go over the tool. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. If you get the basic set, you get all the screw bits. Uh, we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers, and the soft edges will not scratch the cover or the plastic. So all right. now what are we gonna do? We're gonna remove all the screws, four in the front end of the laptop and four on the back end of the laptop. We're gonna remove all the screws and we're gonna keep them in one pile. Just remember all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate it. All right, now that we remove all the screws, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna over, stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest. We're gonna start from one corner, we're just gonna, this is kinda tough, but find a way to stick it right in the front, right there. Okay, so you wanna stick it there about two or three millimeter, and what you wanna do, you wanna pull it back, and you're gonna see the bottom cover is coming up. Now you wanna do that every one or two centimeters, you wanna work yourself, all around. You don't want to stick the whole guitar pick in. You want to hit tiny clicks, that's fine. That's, those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do the same thing on the side. There you go. And go to the back corner. Okay, now they did left, and we need to do the right side. Same thing. Don't be scared about the clicking sounds. Once we do the front and the side, we want to do the back end. The back end is uh, kind of under this bottom race, so there's no nothing to stick in here. So we need to stick it right at the back cover. This how you open it. So you want to do this. Pretty much that's it. Now, when you want to lift it up, you have to pull it up a little harder. So you want to yank it hard and it's going to make a big click sound. Those are the clips that are getting loose. There's right in here. One, two, three. So when you pull it up, it starts from the one corner and yank it up quickly so you can release these clips in here. Let me put it that way around so I can see it. There we go. All right. And right away we can see that there's no 2.5 inch uh, hard drive storage in here. So you can put a 2.5 SSD or a mechanical drive in here. The only thing that you have, you have two slots for M.2 PCI Express slot right in here. To remove them, you do not need to remove the battery at all to do this upgrade, it's absolutely not necessary, but for those people that are really paranoid, 
you can remove the battery by putting your two fingers at the side of the jack and pulling it back evenly but you have to be very careful pull it back evenly and the jack will come if you pull it out sideways you can make a short and you can damage the board but again i do not recommend you guys to remove the battery unless you're really not careful with the electronics to put it back in make sure it straight goes in all right to remove the main ssd there's one screw right at the back end so remove that tiny screw and then you can lift it up in about 10 or 15 degree and then you want to pull it back this way in 10 or 15 degree these are samsung ssd has a little thermal pad on it so you can separate them right there this is a uh, let me see 512 gig nvme mm -hmm. Let me double check that. Yes, as NVMe. 2007 model? No, 2022. Okay. And these are Gen 4, actually it says Gen 4 PCI Express, or so you can get a Gen 4, which is super fast. Now, the NVMe, they have a little notch on them on the corner, and there's a little notch right under them. So what you want to do, you want to bring it down in 45 or 35 degree all the way inside the jack, and then you're gonna see this lift up like that. So what you wanna do, you wanna bring it down towards the screw hole, make sure the screw hole matches, it's nice and snuggled beside it. And right there, then you can just grab this heat spreader, put it right on top, bring it down, and put the tiny screw right over. There you go. That's how you can replace the main storage. On this side, they give you a heat spreader and they do give you an extra screw. So remove the screw and lift up the heat sink. And then you can see the extra in the second NVMe right over here. And make sure you peel this tape back if you want to install the new one. So you peel this one up, put the NVMe, and then you want to put this cover right on top, the heat sink, and then put the screw right over. And this is how you add or remove your NVMe storage. You can put a two terabyte in here and two terabyte right over here. You could put a four terabyte, but you need a bigger heat sink. And I don't recommend it. All right, if you have disconnected battery, plug it back in and grab the bottom cover. Squeeze the corners, the sides, the back end. Make sure you those nice click sounds. In the middle for those battery connectors. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws. And that should cover up this video.